Jeff Hardy, a wrestler whose battles with personal demons are well known, but whose accomplishments in the ring are legendary. Despite Jeff's personal problems, the WWE signed him to a new contract in 2020, but ever since, he's been poorly booked with fans wondering whether the WWE is intentionally burying him. But why? Join us now as WrestleMania looks at how and why the WWE has ruined Jeff Hardy. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. At first, let's look at how the WWE has ruined Jeff Hardy. As number one, focusing on his substance abuse issues. Wrestling isn't known for taking the high ground when it comes to storylines, and the WWE has certainly had its share of tasteless as well as intelligence insulting angles. However, the WWE seems to go out of its way to bring up Jeff's past battles with substance abuse, regardless of whom he's fighting. Hardy's feud with Sheamus was built entirely around the concept of the Celtic Warrior trying to get Jeff to relapse. Now, some fans might argue that the program was a good way to show off Jeff's triumph over personal demons and highlight Sheamus being an all-around jerk. However, the WWE has not let up on reminding fans of Jeff's problems, including his post-Sheamus storyline with Elias. If Jeff is wrestling someone, well, chances are he's going to be called a drunk, a junkie, or even both. People like you never change, and the demons, they never go away. Why associate it with such a legendary wrestler? Number 2. Jobbing Jeff but Jeff Hardy's win-loss record is nothing short of awful, a shocker given his record as a Triple Crown and Grand Slam champion. Thanks to the good people over at Cagematch.net, we have access to Jeff's recent record in the WWE and a review of his 2021 matches shows his record is anything but pretty. Brother Nero's 2021 record has seen him win a handful of matches including luminaries such as Elias, Jackson Riker and Cedric Alexander, a who's who of curtain jerkers. On the other hand, Jeff's loss this year may have been many and they've been to a number of low card stars such as Elias, Jackson Riker, Cedric Alexander, Jinder Mahal's henchman Veer, and Mustafa Ali, a clear sign of how the WWE feels about his worth as a wrestler. Jeff hasn't been featured in any major programs other than a filler role in the Raw Elimination Chamber match and 2020 short run with the IC Championship. It's clear the WWE has no use for Brother Nero other than to put over other wrestlers. A star of his caliber shouldn't be used in this role and while the WWE claims that it likes to cycle wrestlers from mid card to upper card, that doesn't seem to be the case here. Now, granted, Jeff has had WWE Championship matches, but his role has been as someone needed to fill a slot, such as 2021's Elimination Chamber show or a sacrificial lamb for Bobby Lashley. Number 3. Taking him from the main event to main event Is Jeff Hardy still a main event level wrestler? And the case can certainly be made that despite being 43, he still has plenty to offer in the ring. Hardy certainly hasn't slowed down in the ring and he still goes out of his way to perform daredevil stunts and at times sick bumps that no one let alone a 43 year old veteran should take. Unlike Rey Mysterio, another veteran high flyer, Jeff doesn't make mistake after mistake when he tries moves he's performed when he was younger. His dedication to the ring and the fans is undeniable and he's shown he's capable of working with any type of opponent, a quality WWE should capitalize on. At the very least, Jeff should be an upper card star who occasionally gets a main event spot such as when he competed in this year's Elimination Chamber for the WWE Championship. But despite all this, Jeff now finds himself working on main event on a regular basis, not only appearing, but losing every time he does. But why has the WWE ruined Jeff? Well, why are they jobbing him? That's a question that only can be speculated on as we haven't heard anything on backstage rumours about why Jeff seems to be expensive enhancement talent. Let's look into it. As number one, the WWE is uncertain about Jeff's sobriety. Now, the WWE is still uncertain whether they can trust Jeff Hardy with the sustained push given his history of substance abuse. And Jeff has been clean for some time now, but he was clean before and relapsed. It's understandable that the WWE might want to give Hardy more time to prove himself before he gets any type of sustained push, but his current status as a glorified mid-carder serves no purpose unless you consider the next potential reason. As number two, WWE is testing him. A long time WWE observers know that Vince McMahon likes to test his wrestlers by pushing them and putting them through their paces with a series of losses. Jeff Hardy appears to be no exception despite his veteran status. They were Jeff following his return from injury in 2020 featuring Jeff in a number of hype videos on Smackdown and booking him to win the IC Championship in a tournament. But despite speculation he might sign with AEW when his WWE contract expires, Jeff signed a contract extension in the summer of 2020. 
Jeff began losing more matches than he won, with fans speculating WWE was merely doing what it often does with stars, veterans or rookies, seeing how he reacts to getting a downgrade in his status. Does this make sense to anyone but Vince McMahon? Well, probably not, but Logic and Vince McMahon are normally two separate things. Number 3. The WWE Doesn't Recognize Jeff's Value A fan shouldn't rule out a possibility we've seen with many veteran superstars. The WWE just doesn't see Jeff's value as a star anymore. Fans have seen this with recent departures from former WWE veteran superstars including Matt Hardy and Christian Cage. It's entirely plausible that they see nothing special which is why his push is, well, nothing special. In the WWE's mind, there's a role for stars like Jeff, but it isn't as a top competitor, but as someone who makes other talent look good and gets them over in storylines. The WWE recognizes Jeff Hardy's popularity, but they see it as a tool to get others over rather than as a reason to push Jeff. Is this a mistake? Well, the case can certainly be made, but whether it's wrestlers like Rusev, Andrade, Alistair Black, Christian, or Matt Hardy, the WWE's record of misusing talent has to be factored in as a reason for his burial. Number 4. Jeff isn't a WWE loyalist Now one thing to remember is that while Jeff Hardy has spent much of his career in the WWE, he's also spent considerable time elsewhere including TNA and Impact Wrestling. It's conjecture but plausible that the WWE doesn't see him as loyal to the WWE and in fact is hesitant whether he'll join Matt Hardy when his current contract expires. History has shown that loyalty is a one-way street in the WWE and Jeff spending time in other promotions makes an open and shut case that Jeff isn't loyal to the WWE. Vince McMahon may see Jeff Hardy as a veteran who not only isn't worthy of a push but who should be thankful for his WWE job thanks to Mr. McMahon's magnanimity. Number 5. To Punish Matt Hardy The WWE Universe knows that Mr. McMahon holds a grudge and he's not opposed to punishing someone by burying a wrestler close to them. This was seen when Miro, aka former WWE superstar Rusev, left the WWE for AEW, leaving his real-life wife Lana behind in the WWE. Suddenly, Lana became competing in the ring with a featured role on Raw. Regrettably, that role was being put through a table every week by Nia Jax. No matter how many reports or rumours that there were of Lana being groomed for a role as an ultimate underdog who overcame weeks of beatings, the end result was that she was buried. With fans speculating that Vinnie Mac buried Lana in order to get back at Rusev, not only signing with AEW but running down the WWE in his promos, it's easy to believe that Vince would punish Matt's brother Jeff for leaving the WWE and signing with AEW. Just like Lana served as a warning, so too can Jeff serve as a warning to what happens when you cross the boss. And number 6. Make him worthless to AEW Now that the WWE has changed its policy towards AEW from signing any and all talent available to keeping a select few under contract, it's possible that Jeff could become the next wrestler to get released in order to trim the WWE's payroll. As such, they may want to reduce Jeff's value by having him do job after job on television and eventually taking him off television before future endeavouring him. The problem with that is that Jeff is a kind of wrestler who still has considerable value amongst wrestling fans. It wouldn't take any effort to rehabilitate any damage to Jeff's reputation, which means the WWE is mistaken if they think it's burying him with endless losers. In fact, no matter how much some people complain about AEW signing former WWE superstars, AEW fans don't seem to mind as they always add value to the promotion. But there you have it guys, how and why WWE have ruined Jeff Hardy? Do you guys agree? Let us know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.